What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to The Cosmic Wonder. I'm your host, Warren Thompson, and today we have some really, really exciting Marvel Cinematic Universe news because today we have our very first look at Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Some official promo art has been revealed, giving us our first look at Namor, the main villain of Wakanda Forever, or is he going to be the main villain? Because we also have some promos for a different villain. We've been led to believe that Namor is going to be the main antagonist of Wakanda Forever. However, I think we may have sort of a Batman versus Superman type of situation here. If you have been following the channel, you know that I believe that yes, they're going to kind of go at war with each other, but then there's going to be a different villain that they have to unite together to fight. Kind of giving a little bit of a truce between Atlantis and Wakanda who have a history of being at war with another. And to top it all off, we also have our first look at Riri Williams's Ironheart. And of course, we'll be looking at that in this video as well. So let's break down these new promotional photos for Black Panther Wakanda Forever. And if you love Marvel and want to stay in the know, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the latest news. Now, the promo art that we're going to be showing today has been released by MCU underscore facility. We'll show them on the YouTube channel here, but you can also find them on my Twitter and Instagram. And the first one we'll start off with is of Shuri and Akoi. Now, nothing is really too new with these women in this photo. In fact, Okoye looks pretty much exactly the same, looking like a true Dora Milaje. Shuri is wearing a little bit different clothing than we normally see her in, and she has a different hairstyle, but besides that, mostly everything is pretty much the same here. However, we may be looking at the new Black Panther. Some rumors have indicated since Chadwick Boseman is no longer with us, sadly, and since Marvel Studios has announced that they are not going to be recasting T'Challa, that Shuri, while it might be temporary, might be the next Black Panther. This is a pretty big question that everybody has right now. Who is going to be the new Black Panther? There are people like Shuri who could take on the mantle or M'Baku, or they could simply bring somebody new in. We'll have to wait and see on that, but in the meantime, we do have our very first look at Riri Williams in her Ironheart suit. As you see here, she is in her full suit. And we also have some other promo art that was released for Ironheart, and we can see the arc reactor, and her arc reactor specifically is shaped like a heart. Now, for those of you who are not aware, it is confirmed that Riri Williams is going to be in Black Panther 2 Wakanda Forever. She is going to be playing somewhat of a significant role, although it may be somewhat brief. But we do know that these events are going to tie in directly with the events of her own series that she is getting the Ironheart series. And honestly, this looks really, really good. And if we take a look at her helmet, it kind of looks like it's shattered a bit. However, this could be intentional. Perhaps her helmet kind kind of comes apart like that, I'd be really shocked if they were showing us in this promo image her getting attacked and it shattering. I'm sure they're going to include some new technology to her Ironheart suit, and since Marvel does have a tendency to change comic book origins, she might even be from Wakanda. So there is a possibility that this could have some Wakandan technology in it. It actually might be made of vibranium, we don't know at this point. But it is going to be really cool to see her in Wakanda forever, and I'm really looking forward to the Ironheart show. And of course, what everybody is really excited about, we have our very first look at Namor. And if you're not aware yet, Tenok Huerta is going to be playing Namor in Black Panther Wakanda Forever, and this is him. Now, right away, you may notice that this is kind of given off Mayan vibes. This has been rumored and reported on for a while now that in Black Panther Wakanda Forever, the Atlanteans are also kind of going to be like ancient Mayans, which makes perfect sense we are talking about ancient civilizations here. And I'm really excited to see how they're going to do the story of Atlantis, how it sunk underwater. We thought that we might have gotten this story in the Eternals, since they covered such a broad range of time in the Eternals, but unfortunately it did not happen. However, much like in the very first Black Panther film, how they sort of briefly went over the history of Wakanda, hopefully that will happen in Black Panther 2. And that would just make sense for them to go over the history and origin of Atlantis. If they're going to be at war with Atlantis, you kind of got to give us some of that backstory. Otherwise, the general population is just going to be sitting there watching going, okay, who are these people? What's their deal? So I would expect to see their origin story. And it looks like they are sticking true to what Namor sort of of looks like in the comics because the Atlanteans are blue. Their skin is blue, but Namor's skin is not. That is because Namor is only half Atlantean. He's half Atlantean and half human slash mutant. 
Now, Namor is known to be a mutant, and I know that this may excite people, but I'm not holding my breath for him to be a mutant in the MCU, and even if he is, I don't think they're really going to talk about it. We've had a lot of instances so far where we thought that the mutants were going to get introduced or they were going to hint at it in some way, shape, or form, but sadly, we have not gotten anything about the mutants or X-Men in the MCU yet. The only thing that we've got is Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, and spoiler alert, Professor Xavier's in it, who of course is one of the most popular mutants and X-Men of all time. But he was sadly in another universe. However, when it comes to Black Panther Wakanda Forever, it could be hinted at a little bit more. But I do think it's going to be kind of vague. I think they'll talk about how he has certain powers, some powers that typical Atlanteans don't have, and perhaps those powers came from his other half. But I don't think they'll straight up come out and say, oh, his other half? Yeah, he's actually part mutant as well. But I've said this before, after Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness came out, Marvel can only go so long without addressing mutants and the Fantastic Four in our current MCU. Doctor Strange has now come in contact with both of these groups. It would make sense for him to go seek them out in his own universe. It really doesn't make sense for him not to seek out these really powerful, really intelligent people. Or at least look and see if there's another Illuminati formed in the Earth 616 universe. And Kevin Feige and a lot of insiders have said that some big announcements are coming pretty soon at SDCC and at D23. Could mutants be announced to be coming to the MCU soon? Who knows, but if they are, it would definitely make sense for them to kind of explore the fact that Namor the Submariner is part mutant. So, like I said in the beginning, the Atlanteans and the Wakandans have had beef with each other for a pretty long time. And that'll probably take up a good chunk of the story of Black Panther Wakanda forever. But, like I said, I don't think Namor is going to be the villain here. Well, sometimes he is when he's taken over by the Phoenix Force, but most of the time he's not. So I've always assumed that by the end of Wakanda Forever, he wouldn't be left as a villain. And based off of some art that we have today, it looks like that is probably true, as we have some art of Atuma. Atuma is a Namor villain, a villain of Atlantis. Now, originally, Atuma was born to a barbaric Atlantean tribe. This tribe would eventually be banished from Atlantis. Now, eventually, years down the road, Atuma would go on to become the ruler of this tribe, and he told them that he vowed to conquer Atlantis and dethrone Namor. Namor. And I definitely think that Atuma could be the main villain here. Yes, Namor isn't exactly a hero sometimes, but he's more of an anti-hero rather than a villain. So I'm thinking that Wakanda and Atlantis are going to have to come together to fight Atuma, because in the MCU, Atuma probably doesn't just want Atlantis, he probably wants some vibranium too. And perhaps if he gets his hands on some type of Atlantean technology, he could easily take over Wakanda. That could be a driving force to make the Wakandans and the Atlanteans fight together. So, our very first look at Black Panther 2, Wakanda Forever via these promo images. Let me know what you thought about them in the comments down below. I think they're actually pretty awesome, and I'm really, really excited to see what direction Black Panther 2, Wakanda Forever goes in. But hit me with your thoughts and your theories in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest news. And don't forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. Typically, I post promotional images and stuff like this before I post videos about them. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.